All right, uh, we have uh, MAMPRO 5.3 here on a Mac OS Mojave 10.14. So we are about to install it. And after installation, we're gonna go ahead and configure it and see how, what it takes to set up development-based websites on Mac platform. So let's get to it. Start by double clicking on this. All right, continue. Continue again. Re install. All right, looks like we are done. Let's close it and start it. Remember right here. All right, so it's telling me to register uh after i put my serial key here i'll be right back all right so looks like we have successfully registered it the next step is to configure our first website on this one so that uh, we are familiar with the, all the steps necessary to get start developing using mampro all right, so uh, before we uh, get deeper into uh, setting everything up or, you know, set up our first website, whatnot, uh, I would like to go over a few of these uh, tabs here and a few of the features that I normally use. I mean, even though you, we, you can actually go here, Apache, you know, configure uh, Apache web server, Nginx, if that's your choice. SSL, databases, remote, I mean, this is uh, basically if you're setting up some remote FTP or client site, whatever, and then cloud, this is a, also a paid service from uh, MAMPRO, which I do not use. So, so let's come to this uh, left pane here where uh, this is a very important uh, window. This is where you get to see all uh, necessary uh, in the default ports that MAMPRO uses. Uh, in case you want to reconfigure it, if necessary, uh, you can come here, edit them. And this is a uh, setup that I always change it. I mean, like stop the servers when MAMPRO is shut down. Uh, that's that's a bad thing uh, because you know I don't want to keep MAMPRO on all the time. So. So as soon as it turns off, it's going to turn off my server. So that cannot happen. So I take it out, but I turn this one on, which is basically, it's going to launch the group start servers, which is basically the Apache and MySQL here. This is the group that I normally use. And as soon as my system gets turned on, they get automatically launched and ready at the back end. I don't even have to turn on MAMPRO. So that's a setup I normally use. And there is a, another nice little editor feature, which we'll get much more into detail once we install our first site. The other tab I normally use is this, this one, PHP. As you can see here, the uh, different uh, PHP versions are available. So if you want to change them around you know, for testing purposes, I mean, after all, this is a this is for developers, an excellent tool. So we, lots of times, uh, we do need to mess with uh, these settings. And uh, this is also another place where you can actually go dig down to find your PHP errors and such, right? And uh, last but not least, a very important part that I normally use is like the PHP INI. In, in case I have to change it, like, you know, especially I work with WordPress, it requires a different type of setting sometimes. So for that, I go here, edit template, find PHP, and match your version with this one. It's, uh, if it's whatever this is, you match that, click on it, 
and it shows up. This is your INI file. And uh, once you're done changing, you go and save it. MAMPRO automatically restart the server so that uh, all the changes actually take effect. At this point, I'm going to keep everything as default. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Yes. And now it's, it just started the server, right? All right, so now that the servers came on, this web start button just came on and uh, this is where we're going to click to find out what's happening and this is also the proof that our web server is working it's coming from the local host this guy right here and uh, main reason I use this or come here is because there are some tools that I like here uh, PHP info Give, that gives you all the uh, necessary PHP details you need and most importantly the PHP my admin which you're gonna definitely need when you're using WordPress so let's get started um, working on our WordPress installation all right uh, we are going to do some prep work uh, before we start creating our first dev site so let's go create our target folder where we're gonna organize everything into this hard drive create a new folder we're gonna name it websites and that's that now First thing we do, click on this plus sign to create our own host. So test wp.local. So I always use this dot local extension so that uh, all my development sites have that. And uh, as you can see here, uh, there's a dot install WordPress and create database. All these things are here, but I don't let MAMPRO create all those because uh, in my experience uh, if I don't do them manually I don't have full control over it I mean this basically what I'm trying to say is I did not have a good experience by you know using this so we're gonna handle this manually so for now we're just gonna go to the folder that we just created websites and here we're going to create our target test WP and choose that. Under that folder, everything should be organized step by step and and one little thing we have to do here is declare port 80. Just two simple things, the name and the port 80, making it recognize the folder, the target folder. So we're just going to go save. There's a lot other ways you can do this. Uh, I'm just showing you the steps that I follow. So let's restart the servers. Okay, now let's try to go there. Test WP dot local. Boom. So this is the the default that MAMPRO creates, and this is the first proof that it's working and it is exactly the name you want, the extension you want, and the port you want, right? And to track it down, let's go, let's go to that folder we created. And these are the default files that MAMPRO will dump in. And that's where you get to see this result. All right, so uh, without wasting your time, I just uh, downloaded WordPress, the latest WordPress here and extracted it right here 
and here we're going to go ahead and track down that folder or target folder which is the website test wp I'd like to use this look and feel okay now this is the folder where mampro installed the, the default stuff that's uh, what's showing right here so we're going to go ahead and uh, delete them move to trash make sure okay that's exactly our target location and uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy all of these wordpress files and drag them over here all right and at the same time we're gonna go ahead and use this php my admin to create a brand new database i usually uh, give the a database the same name of the site so that it's easy to keep track of test wp db all right create and one thing to remember uh, every database you create on uh, this mampro has the user and username and the password as a root this is something to remember and uh, i don't uh, normally mess with that because it's my development box so now that we have a database and all the files are in place let's go back and uh, refresh well now it is asking to be installed let's go let's go as i have said before the default uh, mampro database username passwords are just root and root okay so keeping the rest default submit run the installation let's install Go. all right let's log in all right so now let's check the front end and we have ourselves a full-blown wordpress installation locally exactly where we want it exactly what name we want it exactly what port we want and this is also up to us what uh, php version we want to use and the database being right here just one more time i just wanted to show you click on web start tools php my admin that's how you get to it so now this completes our basic installation and configuration for developers of mampro thanks for watching